when we think of a building like this failing, there can be kind of two different failures. And of course, there are many, many different failure possibilities, but you have the failure of the concrete itself or and or the failure of the rebar within the concrete. And that's why we're talking about sounds today. What would it sound like when the concrete begins to crumble, when, when you have that concrete falling from the ceiling versus what would people have heard if it were reinforcing steel within the concrete structure beginning to fail in different ways. And, and of course that, that changes what we'd understand about how quickly the building could fail, the patterns of the failure. I'm gonna go back again to the laboratory, which I think is really where we learn a lot about these sounds and what these sounds are telling us. So in my career, I've broken a lot of reinforced concrete on purpose to better understand how it behaves. And when you're in the lab, um, you do use these sounds as a forensic tool, as, as you're mentioning. And so uh, when a reinforcing bar fractures, it's a very loud noise. And of course, as the bar size increases, the noise increases. So here the bars um, in the slab tended to be number five bars, maybe a little bit larger. So, you know, somewhere probably between a half inch and an inch in diameter. So those bars are going to, you know, have a pretty loud sound, but not, it's not the same as, you know, a, a, a large uh, steel beam failing. And the other thing to know is that because that reinforcing steel is buried in the concrete, that sound can be more muted than if the reinforcing bar was just out in air. Um, as we always like to say it in the lab, you know, a reinforcing bar in air um, is going to have a louder sound, but it does sound like uh, like you would expect metal fracturing uh, to sound, but it's also very distinct. And when it fractures, it's short. So the one bar will fracture. And then if it, if it progresses, um, maybe another bar will fracture. So you could hear these individual sort of popping sounds or other sorts of loud sounds from the reinforcing fracturing. So that is one of the first things we think see, can, think about in the lab when we, because a lot of times when that bar fractures, we actually can't see it because it's still underneath and covered up by the concrete. That's the first, um, the first important sound that we really identify if we can't observe what's happening. So jumping in here, you did provide a video from a colleague of yours who is Yep. breaking a steel bar um, in a lab. And I just want to pause and let our audience look at and, and listen to what that sounds like before we go on to other sounds of potential failures. That was steel reinforcement of about the size that we would have expected um, in Champlain Towers in that area that we are looking at as, as the potential area where the first failure happened. What about concrete, the actual mm -hmm. coarse aggregate and the cement? What does that sound like? And, and when would you expect it um, that someone at Champlain South would have heard concrete rather than rebar? Right. So, so you know, if, if we think about what we've seen in the photographs before the tower collapse, we've seen a lot of photographs of um, structural components, especially within the garage, that have uh, exposed reinforcement. So clearly the concrete cover has fallen off. Um, and so obviously a small piece of concrete falling off of a bar that's corroded. And because as the bar corrodes, it expands and pushes out and cracks the concrete. We expect to see that in these buildings that sustain um, corrosion. It, it Probably a resident wouldn't be able to hear it unless they were right next to it. So the, um, the sound of the concrete, it, the sound that the concrete makes depends on the volume of concrete that's failing. So one of the things that's very striking to me when I saw the video that was taken um, of the garage is that there is a lot of concrete that had fallen from the ceiling of the garage, which is also the, the pool deck. And so that sound would have been like that piece of marble that you drop on your floor. That sound would have been heard 
most likely by a lot of, of residents. 